We were holiday riverbenders maybe once a month, once every other month uh, when my mom desperately wanted us to go. So I, I mean, I knew about God, but I didn't really, I, it was always a question in my mind. My dad was an atheist, didn't really believe in God. In my teenage years, we moved out to Pflugerville and I was taken out of all the sports I was in. I got bored. I started experimenting with drugs and not just the soft ones. I started experimenting with hardcore drugs. Next 10 years of my life, I heavily got into just about every drug you can imagine. When I was 19 years old, I got arrested for my first time, spent the night in jail. And then over the next eight to 10 years, I was arrested about 30 times, 35 times for drug charges, for driving while license invalid, for uh, fighting, for you name it, I got arrested for it. Fast forward to the end of 2012 and my dad uh, was in the hospital for the last two to three months of his life. I was the one left to make all the decisions on everything. He came out of surgery at one point and he was doing fine, he was responding and then all of a sudden we come back the next morning and the crash carts were in the room and they had him hooked up to machines to keep him alive and so they pulled me into a room and they were like do you want us to leave my life support I was like no his, wish his wishes were to not be hooked up to machines to live so go ahead and pull him and he made it about another 18 to 20 hours off of the machines uh, just in time for my mom and brother to show up and then he passed away on Christmas Eve of 2012 then I spiraled I got back on to meth which is really horrible drug to get onto and I spiraled for the next two years up until my wife came up to me one day she pulled me aside and she said I'm pregnant and I realized at that point that I didn't want my life to end before my kids life really began I was mad at God that he allowed me to go that far down that path. If you're really a forgiving God, how would you let me do this? Ready to leave the home I have made. It's broken and torn from rot and decay. I'm ready for you to open the door and walk through the arches of free. I have made if only bread goo I'm ready for you to open the door and walk through the arches of freedom You gave your life to cover my sin you conquer my fear You give me a chance You 
rise from the grave So shall we all walk through the arches of We had our son on December 4th of 2015, and uh, we were sitting in the hospital room, flicking the TV channels, and we saw Dr. Dave up on the stage on the TV, and my wife's like, I like his message. I was like, I do too. She said, well, what church is that? It's like, I don't know, it kind of looks familiar, but I don't know. And so we started looking it up, and she was like, that's Riverbend, didn't you go there? She's like, that's that is Riverbend. I, that's my home church. Like, that's where I went. That's, it was the first place we took my son after he was born. And we were just amazed by the level of welcoming we felt here at Riverbend. And then I started sharing my story with people here. And my wife, the first time she heard me go to tell my story, she was like, oh, don't, we're going to get kicked out of church. And I told my story, and they were like, we're glad you're here. Just keep coming back. Tell people about your story. And when I told my wife, she was like, oh, we can't go back there, can we? And I was like, no, they want me to keep coming back. They want to, we're a church, they're a church of broken people. They are a church of second chances. And I mean, I spent 15 years addicted to the hardest drugs that you could ever think of. And now I'm clean and sober. I come to church all the time. I try to help out whoever I can, whenever I can. Like I am, I know there's a God because he wouldn't let me go where I went and then pull me back out of it to help others. He wouldn't let me be a father to the kids that I have or a husband to the wife I have if there wasn't a God because I couldn't have done it myself.